Yeah. Andre, can we take a picture? I'm not going to take away from her, but come on, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I went to your last couple week fight. I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Couple of had one foot in the game, one foot out the game, man. I'm gonna call it what it is. He did what he was supposed to do. That's not Canelo's fault, but. What'd you make of his comments saying that he came into the fight with no chance to win? Uh, many people. What'd I tell y'all before the fight? That, uh, I said, take the fight now with Canelo. Don't mess with nobody at 175. I said, it's a cash out fight. <laughs> You did tweet it. I did see it. No, I said it on he, air. He said it on camera, yeah. I said it on air. After he fought Yard, I said, take the money, bro. I said, this is a cash out fight. Did Kovalev look better or worse than you knew he was going to look? What did y'all see? I mean, he was definitely in the fight until until the... Uh, did he look like Did he look like the crusher? No, nah, he, he didn't look like the crusher, no. but against Canelo... That, that being said, what do you think is in Canelo's best interest at this point? I can't, I can't speak for Canelo. I don't know. I can't speak for him. He was uh, he was ahead or, or even on the cards at the time of the fight. Why was that? Was Canelo not doing what he was supposed to do? Or Sergey was fighting a good fight? Or? I can't really call it, man. Um, I think Canelo realized that it was a lot harder than he thought. Um, that weight, you know, even though Kovalev is not his best, he still got something in the tank. It's just not a lot left. Um, so I think Canelo, if he could have got, got Kovalev out of there early, he would have. But uh, I don't know, man. What do you make if I'm going to live, I'm taking a check and packing it in, man. Maybe taking one farewell in Russia, I'm going home. He, he sounds like he's trying to campaign it like heavy, man. He better leave them, them, them guys alone. And, and, and Canelo better leave, better be here than B-Wall alone, too. Stay away from both of them guys. Hey, uh, Dre, too, you know, Floyd's talking about coming back. You, you remember you once said you can lose everything in the pursuit. You could lose everything in the pursuit of trying to gain everything. It was something along those lines. Do you think he should stay retired or, or I can't come speak up? for Floyd, man. Selfishly, I'm going to want to see Floyd fight at 60. Because I, I respect him, you know, as a fighter, and I, I grew up watching him, so I'm going to always want to see him fight. But Floyd is smart. He's not He's not going to fight a, a young, hungry 47-pounder. He, he, he's going to make a lot of money for the least amount of risk, which he should. He's earned that right. So I'm just curious to see what it is. But I, I doubt it's going to be against a, a top dog at one point. How excited are you for Wilder Fury rematch? Oh, man. It won't be long. It won't be long. That's a true 50-50 fight. How do you see a, next week's big fight, though, Joshua and Reese? Who wins that fight and, and why, Dre? Man, I, I don't know. You know, it's a lot of variables. Um, I want to see if Ruiz still, still has the hunger that he had going into the first fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he's living it up, as he should to a degree. But, you, you know, too much of that, it'll take your hunger away. He's losing weight. I don't know how much weight I want to see him lose, and I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but a guy that's been fighting it that way for so long, you don't want to see him trying to lose weight. Just get in the best shape you can and let your, your weight fall where it's going to fall. Joshua looks like he's, he's leaning out and slimming down, so I don't really have an opinion on it, man. I just want to see if the first fight was a fluke, and I want to see if Joshua can find the resolve to do what many great heavyweights have done before him, which is go take back something that was taken from you. If he, if he can do it, He's gonna still be mentioned in there with the with the top heavyweights today. If he can't, that might be it for him. A, well, a, lot of, a lot of a lot of people are talking about he needs to do be more like Lennox, be more like Vlad. You know, use his height more. Is that what he should do? Or should he just be the guy he's always been and you know turn it up to 100? I don't know if he could become another fighter man in, in a short period of time. You know, I do think the biggest the biggest thing for me is take some of that mass off. Be who you've been to get to this point. Shore up a few areas. Robert McCracken is a great coach. You know, tighten up a few things. Think about rematches. And you don't, you don't try to do a complete overhaul. Take one or two things. Tighten up on, and uh, get some of that mass off. He's be in a good position. Jerry, Jerry, you you to Adam Lopez tonight. Right. Thank you, Jerry. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers or promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace